So what we're going to do is get in the passion of the week and what I want is I'm going to have Miss Starcy come up. Let's give it a hand for Miss Starcy! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> look at that, look at that energy. <laughs> That's the energy that I'm talking about right there. Starcy has an amazing energy. She's actually, in the next two weeks, she's going to be heading out and moving, right? I'm leaving Monday. She's leaving Monday. Oh, you guys. Oh. We'll miss you, Starcy. It's not like I'm not coming back. I'm only four hours away. Yeah, that's right. So Starcy's going to give a quick word. So let's give a hand for Starcy. <laughs> I told myself I was going to lose 25 pounds, and I still have 25 pounds to go. <laughs> so Because I was overweight, I had this beautiful one-year-old daughter and a really hot husband. So I figured I needed to find that balance to where I kind of fit into the picture, personally. <laughs> so when I started up, I remember my first day, I was so nervous for it, but Forrest was so open and just happy and knew my name right after the first day because I'm loud and obnoxious. So really <laughs> but I remember one of the first things about it was, I remember he told us to take a lap around the building, and I remember going there and thinking, I can't run. I'm not built for running, but it was so funny because as soon as I got out that door and started, I realized I can actually run. <laughs> and that's kind of where it snowballed from there. And I was going three, four, five times a week, like doing back-to-back -back classes sometimes. And in that time, in this last month, last year, I've lost 35 pounds. Yeah. 60% body fat. Woo. About three inches I fall over. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a really good journey, but one of the things I realized, I hit my goal, which was great. But once I hit my goal, I ended up having some child care issues. My husband came home, and I kind of petered off. And it's kind of funny because I'm doing Elevate as well, which is an additional program with Anthony and Forrest that's every Thursday. And it goes beyond just the fitness aspect of it. It goes into reworking your mind. And I had gotten to that goal. I had achieved my goal, but it's kind of funny when you achieve a goal, if you don't have anything after it, you kind of plateau, you stop. You don't have that focus and that drive. And I kept waiting, oh well, it's not the perfect time, oh well. Matt just got home half an hour ago, so I, I, I shouldn't go to boot camp. I went through all of this, and then finally I realized one day, I got on the scale, my weight had gone up, not much, but my clothes were fitting tighter. I wore scrub pants for work, and they were getting tight here where I couldn't really bend down like this without the scooch up. Yeah. Yeah, so I decided I gotta get back. It doesn't matter what's going on. Since then, I go three, four times a week, more if I can, because uh, the classes are Monday through Thursday, 6 a.m., 7 a.m., and 7.30 p.m. So I didn't have an excuse anymore. And in that time, that's when I like dropped another 3%. All my clothes, I went from a size 18 to begin with, and I fit into a 12 dress. And girls, you know what that's like, but like a loose 14 pants, tight 12 pants. Okay? Because women clothes suck. But anyway, so I have done a couple of the challenges that Forrest does. My first two-week weight loss challenge, I lost 9.2 pounds, and I won these. Yeah. I won, I won $100, so I bought myself toe shoes. And the last How much one, did you win? no, I lost, no, I lost six point something the first time. In the last nine or six, two week challenge I did, I lost nine point four pounds. I was point two away from winning again. Uh -huh. It was crazy, but it was totally worth it. <laughs> and that's when I started doing this, and that was about two months ago. So it's just the big thing about the weight loss I'm finding is you have to find something that works. Gyms don't work for me. I have to have a personal experience, I have to have a personal relationship where I can sit there and go, if I don't go to class, Tracy's going to say something, <laughs> you know, knowing people's names because they have to it for me, knowing that my trainers know who I am and care about how I'm doing means a lot. So that's kind of been my little journey, like I'm moving to Vegas, um, my husband's getting out of the military, going to Vegas, and I'm already on Groupon, trying to find a new boot camp. But it's only five hours away, so I figure I'll come back when I can, and also I got my three lovely ladies. Down here, I work with who came in today. Woo! So they're fantastic, and unfortunately, I'll take it. <laughs> but yeah, so keep it up, man. Start with this. Find, if this doesn't work, find something that does. Don't make excuses yeah. because we so deserve to look this good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much.
Thank you.